What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we've got a uh, interesting ZT knife to talk about. This was loaned in from uh, Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. There will be a link to his website down below and if you use the promo code you can get 10% off. So I am back from vacation. Uh, I wanted to touch on, I did some guest reviewer spots while I was gone. And I didn't really get much feedback. There was some comments on those videos and people, the view counts were good. But <clears throat> was that interesting? Was that like a cool idea or was that like a dumb idea? I don't know. Uh, it was kind of couched to me as kind of a joke from my buddy Rob at the Random Rob watch uh, Random Rob channel, uh, who said, "Oh, I should make a video and send it, you know, of a knife because he reviews watches, and send it to you and you post it while you're gone." And he kind of made a joke of it, and I really kind of took a step back and I'm like, "Huh, that's actually a great idea," because it saved me a little bit of work of making some, you know, videos that helped with that, and I thought it would be. Kind of a fun thing for the viewers. So let me know what you think because I had Random Rob do a knife um, and then I had a Therapeutic Edge and Alex from the Knife Box channel. And Alex, of course, you guys know is one of my very good friends and we trade knives back and forth all the time. As do a Therapeutic Edge and I because we actually live uh, local. So we get together from time to time and trade stuff in person. So... <clears throat> anyway, let me know down below what you think of those guest spots. I, I, I thought it was a fantastic idea. I kind of wish I had a thought about it earlier. And I would have lined up maybe like the whole week or 10 days that I was gone. Maybe not the whole 10 days, but eh. Anyway, you didn't come to listen to me ramble about my vacation. You came to talk about and hear about this interesting ZT 0990. Now this was based off of their bigger limited edition 0999, which I don't have, which was in the seven eight hundred dollar range. This is two hundred twenty dollars on Gill's website right now, Wild About Sporting Goods. Plus you can get ten percent off. You guys can do the math. So let's talk about the specs first. Get through that, and then we'll talk a little bit about this interesting knife. Four and a quarters closed. Just a hair over seven and a half overall. 3.30 inch blade. 3.25 cutting edge. It is CPM 20 CV with a blade thickness of 0.119. Overall thickness of 0.453. Weighs in at three ounces and runs on KVT bearings, okay? Let's zoom in. It is a carbon fiber frame with a steel overlay, a steel floating bridge, and they, instead of putting the ZT logo on the blade, they embossed it here on the backspacer and then your typical ZT deep carry clip, which is reversible for left or right-handed carry. Nice stone wash on the blade. Interesting little cut out in the blade. That does not work for me to thumb it open or reverse flick it. Standard affair on the back, the blade steel, the serial number, and the model number. It's very well done. The floating, I was not very familiar with the 0999. This floating bridge in the back is just weird to me. Now, you don't see it or notice it when the blade is open because it's used as the back. Um, the blade stop and you don't see it when the blade is closed because while it's not functional there's a relief cut into the flipper tab to just kind of go in to that right and it may kind of be used as 
a stop blade also pin you know blade stop the pocket clip works great i wish they would still use flush mounted hardware but that's okay it does work fine and it flips open every time the flipper tab is not the most comfortable for me it's a little pointy and the jimping is there but you don't really i mean i'm not putting i'm not hooking my finger around and using the very top i'm just kind of hitting it here on the edge where it's pointy and pulling it down so it's a little uncomfortable there there is a, a little bit of centering issue on this particular one and a little bit of blade play and when I did tighten up the blade slightly, the centering went farther off. And it is a uh, a floating pivot, I guess. So you do need two T8s to adjust that. I love the carbon fiber. I love the nested steel liner. I mean, that just works great. The carbon fiber is through and through. I mean, it's great in that regard. Like, I love carbon fiber and I love the stone wash. But in general, this is not a knife for me. Okay? The, the bigger 999 would not have been either because it's very similar looking to this. And it's just not my style. It's, yeah, it's a little weird. For me, I think they are going in a little bit of odd direction. And I have another ZT also that I just did the unboxing with this one that also is kind of odd shaped and looking to me. But guys, I'm not going to discriminate against knives. I'm going to show them all and we're going to talk about them all. So this may be perfect for you. You know, that's the other thing. Just because some reviewer on YouTube says, hey, this knife doesn't please me aesthetically, doesn't fit perfectly in my hand, the flipper tab's a little uncomfortable for me, that does not mean you should just discount the knife altogether. Now, if there's a knife that I come across, and I think I I'm sure I have, that just doesn't function right, it's a flipper and it has a flipper tab, but it doesn't flip open. It only goes halfway no matter what you do. And you got to throw a lot of risk. Like if it's a something specific like that, or hey, every time you close it, X happens or however you hold it, no matter what, you're putting pressure on the lock bar, you know, things like that, then yeah, you may want to listen to a reviewer. But most of my comments are just general aesthetics that, hey, it doesn't fit my goofy hand. I don't like the blade length or shape or it's too small for me. It doesn't mean it's a bad knife. So here it is next to the Sharpie. The Spider Codelica. The Quiet Carry Waypoint that I took on vacation with me and I just took apart and cleaned up yesterday because for some reason, even though it's rust proof, quote unquote, uh, it had some corrosion issues with all the time I spent with it in the ocean. I don't know. And how about the Hellraiser P series? Oops. Still just, I, I just love these knives, guys. I know it's goofy. I know everybody doesn't love them. I know the shape is kind of unique and perhaps impractical. But really, guys, it'll open the Amazon box. It'll open the box from Knife Ship Free. It will open the box from whatever knife retailer you want to name. So it's pretty practical for me. <laughs> and this would too. But just not my style. But kind of a cool knife uh, if you like the odd look, which I do, but it's a little small for me. So let me know what you think about this 0990. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a fantastic day and uh, be sure to come back tomorrow.
Thanks all.